guys! So today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my July favorites and I actually have quite a lot of stuff which is surprising. Usually I end up talking about the same things but I gathered a bunch of different stuff from lifestyle to like planners to beauty stuff and I have an awesome fun giveaway at the end because I reached 10,000 subscribers and I'm super excited about it so I'm actually doing two different types of giveaways but I'm not going to spoil that for you and you will get to hear all about that at the end but let's jump into my July favorites. The first thing I've been loving this month is a skincare item and it is the Body Shop's Vitamin C Facial Cleansing Polish and I love this stuff. It's a really good just basic all around cleanser. It has little beads in it that help to really exfoliate your skin. It smells really good. It's a little abrasive if you have sensitive skin, but not in a way that like it really bothers me. My cheeks usually are very sensitive and this doesn't really bother it at all. Unless I like leave it on there for a while, but it's just a cleansing polish, so why would you let it sit on your skin for a while? But it's really, really nice. The whole vitamin C range is great for brightening your skin and I've really been enjoying it. Next up for hair is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Finish. And this is the type of product that doesn't completely transform your hair. It's not like the Living Proof 5-in-1 styling treatment stuff that I love, but it does just enough that it's obviously a favorite. So it's kind of like a volumizing spray that just builds up a little bit of grit in your hair, gives it a little extra volume, and just makes it look like you've been living in your hair, obviously you live in your, uh, that's a weird way to say it, but like it makes your hair look lived in but not flat. My hair tends to get really dull, like straight, boring, flat, just grossness as the day progresses and this helps to just get a little bit life back into it and it's really, really good if you want to try it. I know lo lots of people love it so it's definitely a well-loved product by all, which is what I just said. There you go. For nail polish, I've been loving this China Glaze Polish in One Track Mind. I haven't worn actual like finger nail polish in probably a month and a half or so, but this is a really nice color on your toes. And I also put this in all of my bridesmaids like subscription boxes that I use to ask them. I put this in there because it's kind of like the navy that our color is. It's a bit darker than I think I want to go, but I thought it'd be fun to add a little bit of our wedding colors into asking them to be my bridesmaids. And it's just a really nice deep blue color. On to actual makeup. I have been obsessed with this solar powder. It's by, who's this by? Soap and Glory. Chrissy Lilly actually sent this to me while she was still living in Ireland during our swap. And it's one of those bronzer slash like color bringers that is really good for pale people. I don't go outside that much. The sticker life is very indoor life and I'm actually pretty okay with that but this provides just the right amount of glow and color to my skin that I don't look sickly and it's just it has enough shimmer in it that it's like good but not too shimmery. It's I don't know I don't know how to explain how much I like this beyond just including it in my favorites and rambling for a good minute about it, but it's really, really good. So if you can get your hands on it, I know that we can't really access a lot of Soap and Glory stuff beyond like the bath line in the United States, but if you can somehow get this, definitely try it out. My favorite concealer that I'm pretty sure surpasses the NARS Creamy Concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It's very much like the uh, NARS version, but I just feel like it blends better, it has a little bit more coverage, but it smells weird. That's definitely something you'll notice right away. It does not have a very flattering smell, but just how good it covers anything I want it to cover, I can totally forgive the smell of it. And it's just really good. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you guys about these things beyond the fact that I love them, you need to try them, trust me. That's, that's basically, that should be the title of this video instead of favorites, just like, trust Kayla, these are really great products, but that's a little wordy, so. Moving on to lip products, I actually have three to talk about, and the first one is a Butter London one, and it's one I'm wearing on my lips. And what shade are you? This is a Lippy Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayon, cool name, in Teddy Boy, and it's basically literally the color of my lips 
but just done in a way that I wish my lips actually looked like this. And one thing I want to tell you guys about this is the packaging is the best packaging I've seen like forever, possibly. It is just amazing. So it's this really nice shiny black, which I love. I hate matte black. Like NARS packaging is gorgeous until you touch it and then it's ruined. But this has a sharpener in the lid. So you don't have to like try and scramble around to find a sharpener. It's actually attached to the lip pencil and it's very, very creamy. It's surprisingly creamy for a lip pencil and it lasts really well. It's very moisturizing. The color range is really, really cool. I'll be talking about the entire range, I think next week in a blog post or something, but it's, it's an amazing line and Butter London is really stepping their game up and producing some really awesome beauty products. The last two lip sticks I want to talk about are actually from the same line. It's more of a favorite type of lipstick than like an actual lipstick. These are the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks and I have two shades, Rush and Rapture, which are very much the same shade in all honesty if I'm not going to just sugarcoat it for you. So Rush is one of those My Lips But Better shades and Rapture is like, I'm taking that and I'm turning it into like an evening shade, if that makes sense. But this consistency is so amazing. It's so buttery and creamy and the color payoff is astounding. It lasts such a long time without like drying weird and patchy. Like when it fades, it fades evenly and consistently and they're so good. I already have two or three on my, uh, like in my Sephora shopping basket. I don't know why I haven't bought them. I'm just kind of waiting but I know that I'm going to be getting more of these because they, they're definitely, I think MAC is my favorite lipstick line, like range, but these are definitely second. And I think they're a little bit more expensive than the MAC ones, but the packaging too, just come on. The next thing I've really been loving is this tote bag. I got it from Forever 21 about two weeks ago and it's nothing fancy. It's just this like bucket tote bag. But dang, is this thing awesome. I can put so many planners in here. I think I've carried four in here. And the way that it's like laid out or made or something, it doesn't hurt my shoulder. All the other bags I like stuff full of my planners tend to get a little like, oh my God, my shoulder. This one just balances things out so well. It's amazing. And I think it was only like $22 or something. It will be in your Forever 21 right now. That's one thing about like clothing items and stuff. I always feel weird talking about them if you can't get them, but I know that I just got this, so you should be able to pick it up. And I think they have it in a brown and maybe a blue, like a teal, but it is an awesome bag. And I'm really glad I picked it up because I was like shopping around and I saw it. And I was like, I don't need another bag because I feel like I have tons, but none of them can hold the planners I use. I usually carry two to three now. I know it's ridiculous, but this one is so good. And I'm going to stop talking about it now because I feel like I've said it's so good like 12 times. The next thing I want to talk about is the day designer. This is from Target and I featured these in my planner update video a week or so ago. This is the, I'll show you like the actual gold cover. This is the uh, daily one and I love this. I never thought I'd be like a daily planner person. I always like the weekly view. I like planning out an entire week and knowing what I'm doing each day and splitting up big tasks into smaller portions. But having a spot to like write down everything I want to get done, like the, I don't know if you can see it because it's so bright. Like the schedule and then you can write down like a to-do list and stuff. I do close-ups of this in that planner update video so I'm not gonna go too far into detail but I love it. I love carrying this one around my Erin Condren vertical life planner and I also carry around a notebook, an Erin Condren notebook with a calendar in it that I use for blogging and YouTube. That one I don't carry around all the time but this is so good. So if you're trying to find a planner and you're not really into the whole Erin Condren thing, definitely check out the Day Designer line. And I'm actually going to do a plan with me on the weekly one later this week on Thursday. So if you want to see how you can use stickers in a Day Designer, definitely go check that video out. So those were all of my favorites. And now to get into the giveaways, I hit 10,000 subscribers, which is like mind bogglingly awesome. Like, how cool is that? So I decided to do two giveaways because I know a lot of people, 
a lot of you guys come for the planner videos, but other people are here for the beauty stuff. So I'm doing a planner giveaway and a beauty giveaway. Both will be linked below. Both just head on over to my blog. There will be separate posts or maybe just one. No, there has to be separate posts. There'll be two posts, possibly. I don't know. There'll be links. You'll be able to find what I'm talking about. But there are going to be posts on both giveaways. So you can enter both of them. You can only enter one, but I'm super excited. So I'm not gonna share everything. There'll definitely be photos so you know what you're gonna be winning if you do win. But for the planner person, I'm gonna be giving away like these sticky notes from Erin Condren, the school uh, sticker pack, and a couple of the Darice sticker books like this Mermaid Tales one and also some page flags. But there's a bunch of other stuff that you can go check out that photo if you wanna see, cause I don't wanna like bore you guys with like, and this, and this, and this. So basically it's just an awesome planner giveaway. But if you wanna enter the beauty giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away a Butter London Iconoclast, Iconoclast, I can't say it. It's a really good mascara. There's also a CoverGirl mascara and a CoverGirl eyeliner. And one of the lip, uh, pen, what, why am I struggling with saying this? This is a different shade of the lip pencil that I talked about from Butter London. This is the shade Primrose, so you can win one of that, one of those, and also some nail polishes. So there's a bunch of different stuff you can win, so definitely go check out the links below, and I might include some stuff around to go click on. But thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. It's like mine. I already said this. It's just I can't even. It feels so odd as a person, but it's nice to know that there's other odd people that are like, cool, odd person, let's go hang out on the internet together. And that's just amazingly wonderful. But that's going to be it for this video before I embarrass myself any more than I already have. I really appreciate you guys and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my video tomorrow where I open some awesome P.O. Box mail. Bye!